All right, guys, welcome to this uh, this video. I just want to talk about the whole situation about Fedora uh, removing the codec support from their Mesa driver and the reaction that has on the whole community and why I think it shouldn't be this big of a deal and uh, people just should chill, uh, keep their cool and uh, don't panic, basically. Workarounds will come. Just give people some time, developers some time to uh, create a workaround. So I just want to go dive into the story. Uh, so if it's interesting for you to know my stance and also some details about uh, what it actually is. So then uh, keep watching this video and let's dive into it. Let me share my window. And it all started with a commit. And this is basically the commit. Um, you see here commit ID drop and the title is drop, drop codex. So we don't have legal approval for this. Previously it was accidentally shipped. And you see here the commit from the Mesa uh, removing this line. So it will not be built. Mesa will not be built uh, with these codecs. So you have the this H264 decoder and encoder, also H265 decoder and encoder, and also VC1 decoder. And the impact is basically that uh, you have a graphics card in your computer and uh, it uses hardware rendering uh, for rendering videos. And also when you create videos and playback videos, it will be decoded or encoded. And use codex for that so that the capacity is not taken away from your CPU, but your, your graphics driver takes care of that. They also call it hardware decoding. So that's like the functionality that you miss if they do not build Mesa with this enabled. So response from the community is yeah uh, lots of people uh panicking actually about this whole uh, fapi uh, driver so you hear a couple of posts here so people are asking for explanations and why are people hysterical about it what will be later restore fapi friendship ended with fedora replace fedora so guys just uh, let me get to that so i think one post i want to highlight in this regard is uh, please remove the community driven part from fedora's official descriptions if no community is supposed to be involved in decision making i think this user i basically get what he is getting at but it's a little bit an overreaction to what has happened but people are upset that uh, some functionality is will be gone missing uh, basically says, well, uh, it should be community driven, so community should be involved with everything by Red Hat for its own purposes, and it puts a bad taste in my mouth. And it's his opinion, of course. He's entitled to his own opinion. Um, yeah, so some people elaborating about the, the problem being AMD. Uh, and that there will be some workarounds uh, posted soon and uh, yeah so i understand the reaction from some big company like red hat that they do not want to ship it because of the patent trolls uh, as well uh, people start dissecting the, the the situation and also this guy tim richardson says well there's a couple of parts here at play there's a technical situation, so building it with or without those uh, codecs. The legal situation, and he says, well, it's murky. And that's the uh, last point is the process, how we got there. So I think he makes a good point, pointing out that the original poster, the op, is mainly focusing on the problem with the process. Another user points out that it has been a discussion. Uh, it was a discussion already by the community, but I think it's more uh, limited to the developers of Fedora. Let me, let me, this link, I have it open here. So 
So yeah, I think uh, first one, uh, hi, uh, since the Mesa change, uh, Fedora 37, the Mesa package uh, lost support for VAPI, accelerated encoding and decoding. So he says it seems like a big regression, so it has uh, lots of concerns by this uh, poster. And he likes to ask some questions, three, uh, elaboration, uh, plan of improving, and uh, yeah. Uh, something about RPM Fusion being like a fallback repository. If you're not familiar, those are repositories not officially made by, uh, by Red Hat. So David uh, clarifies, so this was an oversight being enabled prior to this, and I think we have to remove it from older versions as well. Fedora cannot ship anything that causes the OS to provide an API which exposes patent algorithms. So it was already a mistake uh, to put it in there and they basically corrected the mistake. And that's what the reason why they do it so quickly probably is because it was already a mistake. And I think the, the reaction about uh, from the community is uh, very panicky and everybody, uh, yeah, dumps Fedora and starts to look at alternatives and not friends with Fedora anymore. And I would just like to say, well, just chill give them some time to fix it and don't panic don't start panicking and they also call it a knee-jerk reaction meaning a reaction what you don't think about you do instantaneous do something so don't cancel fedora guys uh, just uh, stick with it and of course you're free to pick any distribution you want but this is not the first time this has happened and this will certainly not be the last time something like this happened just Let's just try to uh, get around this and uh, yeah, that's basically it and uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye.